Top THA health and safety performers recognized. Volunteer organizations urged to continue making a difference and workers asked to reflect on how they handle workplace situations. Info Update Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews, reviews along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. THA's employees and divisions have been recognized for their safety and health contributions for 2015. Here are the details. THA Chief Administrator Ray Sandy says the Osh Awards reinforces the roles everyone must play as health and safety ambassadors for their own lives. Ladies and gentlemen, it was only a few days ago that we heard in the news of some worker who had lost their life while at work. However, I am thankful that for the past year, that there have not been any workplace accidents leading to fatalities in the Tobago House of Assembly. Speaking at the OSH Awards for 2015, Mr. Sandy says, this is the result of collaborative efforts by employees and management to create a safe workplace environment for all. As health and safety professionals, you operate with the philosophy that prevention is better than cure. In this context, therefore, you are eager to take action to prevent workplace incidents which could be harmful to workers. Among the top safety and health performers in 2015 was Stephen Rowan of the Office of the Chief Secretary, the Individual of the Year. The Division of Community Development and Culture had the most effective safety committee, and the Division of Education, Youth Affairs and Sport was the most compliant division during the 2015 biennial OSH audit. I'm Josanne Brassi for Info Update. Four organizations received a financial boost towards their worthy causes. Caroline Wallace has more. The Mariah Police Youth Club, the Legends Athletic Football Club, the Tobago United Spiritual Baptist Assembly, and the Reloaded Steel Ensemble each received donations from Chief Secretary Orville London. The Chief Secretary says the recipients have all contributed to Tobago's development. Look, not, not at the quantum of the, of the support, but rather the signal that he sends about the relationship that has to be exist between the assembly, NGOs, churches, uh, sporting organizations, community groups, etc. And I want on behalf of the people of Tobago to commend you all for your contributions at various levels in various communities. Mayor Edwards of the Baptist Assembly says the donation will help create awareness about the group's volunteer work. Some people are still not knowledgeable of the spiritual Baptist. So this is one way of letting them know who we are and what we are doing. We do a lot of voluntary events, all right? We, for example, like during the month of March, we go visit the homes of the age we take toiletries and so we have oatmeal services, we have seminars for the youths. Mr. London hopes the THS support will encourage these organizations to continue to volunteer despite the island's economic challenges. I'm Caroline Wallace for Info Update. Tobago's administrative staff members were recently recognized for their contribution to the island. This was done during Administrative Professionals Week. Omudara Mills has this story. The Chief Secretary of London says working professionals must be sensitized about how to handle challenges, especially with Trinidad and Tobago's unpredictable economic situation. In this time, you've got to fix yourself. Because I think the first, the first uh, issue with which you have to treat is how am I going to cope? Because if you cannot cope with your own personal circumstances, you would not be in a position to treat with the issues that occur in the job place. The occasion was a luncheon to honor Tobago's administrative staff, hosted by the National Association of Administrative Professionals of Trinidad and Tobago. Mr. London says each employee must reflect how they can better handle changes in the workplace. In the challenging times ahead, it is quite likely that more people in decision-making positions are more likely to try to relegate people into the traditional secretary status. The question is, how are you going to treat with that? The Chief Secretary says workers must treat each other fairly and stand as brothers and sisters. I'm Umadara Mills for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Davia Chambers and you've been listening to Info Update.